Hey everyone, welcome back to The Coolest Dad. Sorry for all the echo, but I'm gonna do something about that. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Coolest Dad. In today's video, we will be installing 50 of these. These are sound absorbing pieces of foam that I got from Taobao to turn this room into a quote unquote YouTube studio. So let me give a little bit of background uh, before we get started. So first of all, I'm based in Hong Kong. Uh, I actually work in the area of quote unquote online video. So YouTube and obviously other platforms as well. And we occasionally do need to film stuff ourselves. Not just me as a YouTuber, the coolest dad, and check out my other channel too, Obscure Cola. But uh, also like we have clients and we need to do stuff uh, just internally for our own channels as well. So we went on Taobao and we bought some of this to make this room a little bit more usable. As you can hear, there's a lot of echo in here and hopefully we can mitigate at least some of that with this stuff. It was pretty cheap. Each panel is about $1.50 US. So we got 50 panels, which was 75 US obviously. Uh, and that's enough to cover all of this and then some. And so we're gonna probably cover the back of the door and that piece of the wall. This side is a window and I probably can't cover that. I might get in trouble, uh, but, because we are renting. Uh, but, there are some curtains there, so it's not that bad. They kind of can absorb the echo. Ours here is tile. There is a straight wall. I don't think I can get away with doing a ceiling. All that, that would probably be pretty good too because it's all irregularly shaped, but at least that breaks up the echo, I hope. So I've actually done some sound testing so we can get a good before and after comparison because I am an engineer at the end of the day still. Uh, so anyway, I've got that and we'll compare it at the end after this is all installed. So uh, yeah, let's just quickly talk about these guys. It comes with a uh, adhesive bag, which I don't know how good that's gonna be. It might peel off. I might have to put some spray on glue on, uh, but we'll try it with the adhesive bag and see how much of it stays uh, by the time I come back on Monday morning. Um, and uh, what else is there about this? It's 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. So that's about 19 and a half inches on a side. And I figure it should be about 35 cover this wall depending on if I want to go all the way up to the top or not. Uh, I have a ladder on here by myself. It would be much faster if I had people with me. I'm not going to cut out perfectly around the uh, plugs because it's not super critical that every single inch is covered. I'm just going to basically line it up as straight as possible. I don't have a level. I don't have a laser sight or anything like that. So I'm just going to do it by lining up from the edge and hopefully the edge is square. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Ready, three, two, one, go.
Okay, so not so bad, it took about 30 minutes. It's definitely not perfect as you can see, um, aside from the fact that you can get black stuff all over your fingers. Uh, there's just a fundamental issue, which is like, uh, these things stretch, you know, so it's foam, meaning it can compress, it can stretch. The glue on the back is definitely not the best. If I pull those things off, it's gonna leave black stuff all over the wall too, but that's another problem for when we move out, if we take it off at all. Um, but anyway, yeah, these things are not perfect. I think you can see like the heights are definitely not all the same. Like this one's kind of blunted and some of them are pointy and some of them aren't. Uh, so it's irregular. And then these shapes here, like this corner is definitely not like a perfect, it's kind of like shrunk in there. So that's where you end up with gaps. Like I can definitely see some already here. I tried to like get it lined up by like pulling and then stretching and it goes back, but who knows if that's gonna stay like that. So as you can see, I still have some uh, open space here on the bottom row. Uh, so what I'll probably do is just get one in here and slice it off so it doesn't cover the plug. Maybe put some above it, but probably not. And then maybe one piece over there, um, depending on how many odds and ends I have. The next part I'm gonna do is actually the back of the door and uh, this wall here with the light switch. So obviously I have to cut out something for the light switch. Uh, the door is actually not that important, at least at this point, this is supposed to mostly stop the echo and make the sound better in here for recording. Not so much worried about keeping out sounds from the outside. So even though we're not quite done, I think it sounds better right now, but let's wait till we're done and then we can do the sound test. Okay, and here we are. Let's look at before and now after. Yes, so as you can see, I actually went back in and put in a couple pieces down here in the corners around the plugs. I actually have uh, almost six pieces, about five and change from the ones I cut up, but I could keep going. I could have put them up on this side, but I don't have enough to do the whole thing. And I don't think I really need to as long as I got this wall and this wall. And I'm gonna have a green screen back here, which should absorb some sound. And I've got the curtains over here and I can't really do that much about that. Anyway, okay, so does it sound better or not? That's really the $75 and an hour of your time question, isn't it? So in this case, uh, let's do that reference test. So I did one before I put this in, and I'm gonna do one right now afterwards. I'm standing approximately six inches in front of the table. You can hear a good bit of echo. Okay, now we have the foam installed and we'll do the sound test. Uh, I am about six inches away from the table about 18 inches in front of the Zoom microphone. This is me facing the microphone. And now I am facing backwards towards the opposite wall. Definitely even more echo now. This is me facing the foam covered wall now. Uh, does it sound better? Maybe a little bit less echo. Uh, let's try facing the wall. Uh, now let's face the door. The door and the light switch now have foam all around it. So is it better? Yeah, perhaps. Approximately six inches in front of the table. Uh, I am about six inches away from the table. Six inches in front of the table. Uh, I am about six inches away from the table. Sorry for all the echo, but I'm gonna do something about that. After, yes, so as you can see, I actually went back in. And... Okay, well that was kind of surprising. I didn't expect it to be that much better, um, but yeah, pretty good for $75. Uh, what do you guys think? Is it worth it? Obviously, depending on where you live, these might be a lot more expensive. So your mileage may vary. It's only $75. It's definitely not the best foam out there uh, for true proper like 
anechoic chambers and whatnot. They use really, really dense foam and it's got a lot of pull in your thing, so there's a lot more surface area to absorb the sound and whatnot. So in this case, yeah, you get what you pay for, but it's not that expensive and it looks cool. So we just look like a legit studio, right? Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I will be doing more videos here, so like my next IKEA assemblies, I'll actually try to do here. It's big enough to get away with most of them. Uh, if you have any requests, please let me know. Don't forget, I also have my other channel called Obscure Cola, and I'm actually gonna film a bunch here because why not? Uh, so stay tuned for that, and I will be doing at least one more video about the studio space, which will be about the green screen. So as you can see, there's actually a folded up green curtain back there and that will be uh, our green screen once we put it up on some light stands. I actually got this all set up in our previous office, but we never ended up really using that for much. Uh, and then we ended up moving because we outgrew it. So now we have a nicer space with foam, hopefully better acoustics, and why not use the green screen too? So I won't use it all the time. I think for like my drink taste test videos and stuff, no need. For assembly videos, probably no need. But if we have someone coming in here to film a vlog or something like that, they might want to switch the background up. Anyway, we'll see how that ends up turning out. See you guys next time. Bye. You know, having the stroller with me all the time up in the overhead bin, as soon as we get off the plane, pull it out, unfold it, and walk off. You know, literally that could save you 15, 20 minutes right there.